Okay guys, we're back out here working. Uh, I was asked to check these valves to see if any of them were bent. I didn't do any story shit. I started working on the intake. Basically what I did was, I have some valve grinding compound here. We have coarse. We have fine. Thanks to VW Rich he came in this stuff years ago. Uh, we don't really use valve grinding compound at work. When the seats come new and the valves come new, we just put it together. Uh, I've checked them. That yeah, we seem to be good. Put a little dot of the fine on there and ran it around, and as you can see, it's a perfect seat on it. Okay, as well as up there. I looked at the whole thing. Okay, what I did do is I dropped in the valve, made sure my lifter was down, and the cone for five to six thousandths. Now, let me see if I have somewhere to put you guys. Okay, these pieces of wood are not ideal. Basically, what I have here is I have my feeler gauges, you know, lay them in front there. And what we have is we have a Five thousandths, which I put in here. I do when I lift up the valve. Put it back down. Valve does not turn. It goes in and out nice. Okay, so we stepped up to a six thousandths. Put it in there. You just feel resistance, but the valve does not turn. I know you guys can't see my hands. Okay, if you put a seven thousandths in there. Get resistance, but the valve's turning. So I call that five to six. Um, it was about four when I started. So basically, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the spring in there. Sometimes it'll shrink down a thousand. So let's see where we land. Then we'll move, move over to the exhaust. Um, and that's it. Hold on, guys. Okay, guys. Got the valve spring in. Uh, I'm not going to pay any attention to the 5,000s. I'm going right to 6,000s because that's the limit. Okay, if the 6,000 doesn't fit, we work backwards. 6,000s goes in. Jump right up to 7,000s. Seven, seven thousands. 7,000s thousands does not go in. So they want 5 to 6. 7,000s just almost did it. So I consider that good. Let's move on. Uh, let's check this exhaust valve, which my tool is kind of like too big for. But it does not appear bent to me. But let's lap it in. That's the perfect way to tell everything that's going on. It tells you if there's any burn spots, pits in your seat. Let you know where it's sitting. So let's see what we got. I'm going to have to excuse me for a couple minutes here while I redo what i got to do. Yeah, I used the fine uh, valve grinding compound, just a little dot. And other than the darkness of the valve from the you know, carbon buildup, I got a perfect line around it. I colored in the seat. I got a perfect silver seat, so we're calling it good. Uh, let's put this thing together and check the lash. See what we got. Oh, they're both in. Five to six, we got it at six thousands. Uh, seven to nine, we got it at eight thousands. So, this baby should do good. And they're sticking up out of the hole. Not like they were. You can see the grease on them. So. Well, there you go, guys. Has compression. Nice, huh? So I put the head on the used head gasket, a couple of newer head bolts, and uh, like I said, I'm not going to put head gaskets on until we. Uh, take this all back down, break it down, 
and I put my blade across the two heads and all the other stuff. So they'll work till then. And if it doesn't, so be it. It's not like I'm gonna suck coolant. So it's amazing how many different colors of Briggs and Stratton came, huh? Here's the plate. I was gonna put the coil on, but it's too late now. I actually came out here to ride the bike, not to play with this thing. wanted to knock that out and came out here um, like I said someone had mentioned that possibly they thought the valve was bent watching the video so I didn't think it was spinning at my fingers but I just had to check one thing led to another I did the valve adjustment uh, we're on the money and that's it I would like to definitely open this thing up though or look at the connecting rod I still remember having one of my motors when I was younger where I shaved the connector rod down and lightened it. If that's the case, I'm going to swap it out. But that's like I said, after we get everything done. <laughs>